announced it is going to happen on the 6th of June. Uh, so the rundown of events is this. On 3rd of June, which is today actually at um, 8 p.m. UTC, all the Amazon shareholders will receive the stock split. But that is upon close of business, which means the stock split adjusted price will not start trading until next Monday, which is on the 6th of June. Right. So what's going to happen on DeFi chain side is we have created this mechanism called the lock to prepare, to protect all the mechanisms or the services interacting with the Amazon, which means your DEX liquidity pools, as well as your vaults that has the Amazon in to basically lock it for a three hour period before the um, price going on market and three hours after. So that would be about 10 a.m. UTC. Um, which is about three hours before 9.30 a.m. Eastern time. Um, the lock would happen. Basically, everyone would not be able to interact with anything related to the Amazon. And then at 1.30 p.m. UTC, the market opens on NASDAQ and Amazon starts trading at this split adjusted price. Three hours after, which is about 4.30 p.m. UTC, the lock would be lifted, which means all the DEX, uh, basically the de Amazon DEX pool will start trading again just that all the Amazon vault holder will need to take note that the vault will continue to be halted for an additional one hour after 4.30 p.m. Um, for the Oracle price adjustment. So after 4.30, which means 5.30 p.m. UTC, the Amazon vault owners will be able to continue interacting with their vault. So this is basically the rundown of the event. You can find out more about the information on blog.defection.com. Are there any questions on that? from the team because um, yeah, in theory, this should not allow for any um, arbitraging. And I think it's really fair to everyone. Um, yeah, well done. Just some details if I can add. Uh, it's all of the split that we are, the whole lock period we are looking at is actually just for safety. All the split happens on a single block. That's going to be just that one block. And so that's the reason there's going to be no sort of, you know, a, 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 people taking advantage of any sort of arbitrage, nothing like that. And when you have Amazon tokens, all the subsystems are paused, but if you hold previous D Amazon in your address, you're still free to move it around wherever you want. And uh, there's gonna be no restrictions on that whatsoever. You just won't be able to interact with a system that converts the price, can, utilizes the price and converts it into something else. Yep, that's it. Yeah, and essentially there's nothing that users have to do. They just gotta wait for that lock period to be lifted.